sun. Without its warming energy and light, there would be no life here on Earth. But the sun isn't just for sustaining all life on Earth. I went to Holland to find out less. There are many examples of renewable energy being used in Holland. We can use light waves to generate electricity, as we see here with this solar-powered harbour light in Holland. Well worth the trip. Solar cells can be used for many things. They can be used to power calculators, lights in our garden, to charge batteries. They can be used to power our houses or spaceships. After being deported from Holland, after our attempts to sabotage a Professor Brian Cox tribute conference. Yes, Professor Brian Cox, the man who stole my life. We returned to England, to a field, to desperately try and finish this film. Here we are on the edge of the Cotswolds. Can we just call it the Cotswolds? I mean, that's the Cotswolds. Why can't we just call it the Cotswolds? What? They don't want us to film there. They don't want us to be associated with us. Why? Me? What? Hey? We'd come here to find a local solar energy generation facility. I mean, budget costs are one thing, but we can't afford a car now. We've got to cycle everywhere, Brian. Cycle. Ridiculous. It wasn't easy, but eventually we found it. Here I am at the Willisley Solar Farm. On average, every square metre of Earth's surface receives 164 watts of solar energy. That's 164 joules of energy every second. What did that mean? Yes. Watts are the same number of put for you now, yes. Still quite impressive, don't you think? If we covered just 1% of the Sahara Desert with solar panels, we could generate enough electricity to power the whole world. Disappointed yet fascinated, we hopped back on our bikes to get a different view of exactly the same thing. See that barn over there, Brian? If you just pull up, I remember something from the guidebook about it. Science based, kind of. Here I am on the Cotswolds edge, and behind me you can see a famous barn called Allen's Barn, where in the 17th century a despicable murder took place. Quite horrible, really nasty murder. Or was it. I'm not sure actually if the murder happened there or the murderer hung himself, something like that. Anyway, something nasty and despicable took place there. Makes your skin crawl, doesn't it? What's that got to do with science? Sorry? No, What's that got to do with science? Nothing to do with science. Not really much, to be honest. Uh, forensic science? No? Yeah. See, Marvel's of Science hasn't really been going that well, has it, to be honest? It's, it's kind of flopped, so I thought I might do a new series called Marvels of Murder. Um, should have researched it a bit more, I suppose. Uh, could be a pilot. No? Marvels of murder. Give it with Professor Ryan Fox, no? Stick to science. Fo focus, focus, solar energy. We're supposed to be here filming about solar energy here on Cosmos. Focus, like it, very good. Let's go. These solar panels you can see behind me run off voodoo energy. Sorry, I'm really going to stop you there. What do you mean you've got to stop me there? Yes, they do run off voodoo energy. What, light energy? From the sun? Don't be ridiculous. I read it on voodoo Wikipedia. It's never wrong. You're fine, it turns out that I'm contractually obliged to admit that I was completely wrong and that it's nothing to do with voodoo energy. It is in fact something to do with something called solar cells. Happy now, are we? So picky. A solar cell is an electronic device that turns sunlight directly into electricity. Solar cells are mainly made from silicon, which can be found in sand. Silicon is a semiconductor and solar cells are made from a sandwich of two different layers of silicon called p-type and n-type and then when the photon of sunlight hits these it encourages electrons to jump from one layer to the other or something and it all gets a bit complicated so I think we'll just leave it there and abandon the science. Realising the view was much better where we were in the first place because we could actually see the solar panels we set off again. <laughs> Cycles to cycle paths, cycle paths to psychopaths. That's it. I think I've got it now. See, I think a series about murder could work. Marvels of murder is not going to work, but cycle paths to cycle paths. It could be kind of a half travel guide. Look, I'm on my bike, and um, it could be with murders mixed into it. It could be like a tour of murders, cycle paths to psychopaths. I like that.
There's a prison over there we could visit, full of psychopaths. We could cycle to it. Hopelessly lost, we accidentally ended up staying in a pub for around five hours. It's a good pub that, Brian. <laughs> yeah, it was a very good pub that, yeah. Not sure we should have spent five hours there though, should we lads, see? Not when we've got a lot of filming to do. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, Brian, are you alright? Um, Brian? You had, Brian, have you got the camera out here? Better. <laughs> Eventually we found our way back to a place we never should have left in the first place. A lot of solar panels, a bit of an eyesore really, here on the edge of the Cotswolds. Hmm? But no, also they're putting something back into nature. Bird boxes, bat boxes, wildflowers for pollinators, that sort of thing. That's what we've got to do nowadays. Spoiling the view and making life difficult for nature is not the only problem with solar energy. Solar power is a renewable energy resource and it doesn't produce any CO2 apart from in the manufacture of the solar cells, just a bit, and therefore it doesn't add to global warming. However, at the moment solar power also has several disadvantages. It's not very reliable, it only works in the daytime for one thing. Yeah, why? Oh yeah, good, good, yeah, yeah no, so not is it? Yeah, and it's no good if it's cloudy. They're also not very efficient. Typically around 50%, most of the energy gets wasted and you need a huge amount of land even just to generate the same amount of power you get from a typical wind turbine. Solar power. Here comes the sun, dooby doo doo. Here comes the sun, dooby doo. As I said, it's alright, do do dooby doo doo. As uh, George Michael once famously said. What do you mean it wasn't George Michael? Was who? It was George Harrison. George Harrison, right? Jo who's George Harrison? I've never heard of George Harrison. You remember the Beatles? Remember of who? The Beatles? The Beatles? Did you be down for a band? Who were they? The most famous band ever. The Beatles? Never heard of them. Solar power is also quite expensive compared to other types of energy, but there's lots of research going into new types of devices to capture the tremendous energy that the sun offers. After all, plants seem to have mastered it, so why can't we? Because plants are a bit thick, aren't they? Yeah? So why can't, eh, why can't we do it if plants can do it? Yeah? Rubbish. Anyway. Clueless and incompetent and fueled by drink, we decided to give up any pretense of trying to make a science television program and decided to make a different type of program instead. You did a grand job hanging on there, Brian. You really are. Yeah, I didn't think you could hang on this long. You're putting that camera quite straight as well. But you're quite heavy, you know. So hold on, Brian. Brian! Oh, fuck, Brian! Hold on, hold on. See that chair? Stop here. Stop here. No, no, stop here, stop here, stop here. See, see that chair? I've had, a, I've had a great idea for a new TV series. Yeah, I read up in the, the guidebook about something. No, tr go, trust me, go with it. Here we are at Wickenford Church. Wickenford Church was clearly built a long time ago, possibly in the past. Yeah, I mean, Wickford Ford, um, Wickenford Church, the home of a very special tomb. The church is home to some hardly famous, not known at all, special residents. In this church lies the body of Sir Edwin Sandys, eldest son of Samuel Sandys. Legend has it that the tombs contain the body of a knight buried sometimes, probably, after his or her death. But he, she is not alone. In fact, you could say it's a bit of a family gathering. And over here lies the body of his eldest son, here in this tiny church in Wickham for third. Who? Sir so Edwin Sandys was, nobody knows. Well, I don't, but uh, well, probably someone does, but I don't. But I'm determined to find out. <laughs> Truly moving experience for us all. Right, mate, he said he's not working. What do you mean? What? It's rubbish. You mean it's not going to work? Because it's going to work. Cycle paths to saints. What? Well, it's not saints. To sirs, cycle paths to sirs. Because it's going to work. Brilliant. No. I don't know who they are. We'll find out later. Dub it on. No? Stick to 
to science then. Back to so it looked like I would have to go back to making science programs after all. Yeah. I dropped it. I didn't mean to. I meant to just mind putting it in. It's a pound. What do you mean it's coming out of my wages? I know the budget's small, but that's ridiculous. Anyway, it's fair enough. We've used it as a venue anyway to cycle paths to saints or sirs. But I know we're not going to use it, but that's not the point. Anyway, it was my pound. Actually, you know, I've had a better idea. Well, let's not call it um, Cycle Pass to Sirs. Let's call it uh, Night Rider. Night Rider, you see what I've done there? Yeah? I could change my name from uh, Professor Ryan Fox to uh, uh, Sir, uh, Sir David Professor Hasselhoff. 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 Luffalump. No? No? There you go. So, until the next time, when we discover more marvels of science. Speed bump! Oh, Jesus Christ! Got very, uh, very big good as them sheep, Brian, haven't they? They know, but that's right. They're what? Really? Wow. Respect, fellas. Huh?